this is Tim Garrigan, and I'm out in front of the home of my parents, Margaret and Hillary Garrigan. The house is located on Bellmead Drive in Clearwater, Florida. I'm going to go in the house now and take some films with my with my parents. This film was being expressly made for all of our relatives back in Pennsylvania. And again, I was so pleased to have been able to go back and enjoyed your company and your hospitality so much. And everybody was excited to hear about my trip. And so now uh, we're going to, to meet with uh, several members of my immediate family. We have everybody here except for my sister Barbara. Unfortunately, she cannot be here this afternoon. So we're going inside and talk with the folks. We are uh, now inside the house and I have uh, my mother and father sitting here in front of me and I'm going to turn it over to my mom here first to say a few words to you. Talk louder. Hello there. How's every, everybody in Blairsville? It was wonderful seeing all your pictures, reliving the past again. Wish we could see you in person. How about a trip to Florida? We'd love to have you, all of you. Say hello to everybody we know. You all look great. Come down, don't forget me. Hillary? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> There's no use. Say hi. Huh? Hi to everybody. We love you. Come down, come down, come down. We love you. <laughs> he can't talk without his hands. <laughs> that enough of uh, the rest of the family that was here, as I mentioned before, the only, the only member of the media family that's not here is Barbara. So I'm going to start with the, the oldest, Mike, and let her say hi. I don't know why he had to say I was the oldest. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Hi, everybody. They'll, they'll be able to tell when they look at the film. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name's uh, Mickey. Mike, they call me now, now that I graduated from high school. Uh, I'm still the oldest. And uh, I really enjoyed seeing Ann and Jean and uh, Mary Jane, of course, when we went up there. Uh, for uh, the funeral of uh, uh, Cuneo and uh, so Mary and the rest uh, and Jane Helen. and it was no Helen wasn't there that I don't remember seeing Helen but anyhow um, I really enjoyed uh, seeing everyone so uh, the pictures were a great review but I loved seeing all the children that I had met of Anne and Jane's <clears throat> and all the other relatives. Um, I have four children. I'm uh, remarried after my first husband was killed. I married another pilot. And uh, you'll get to see them later on in the uh, the film. But uh, it, it's really great uh, getting a chance to have us all on video, being the distance is so great. And hopefully we'll all get up there to see you. Now, uh, Barbara's missing, and she married... Uh, <laughs> She married uh, Sandy uh, Liss, and he was from Indiana, if you remember, and <laughs> on the fruit market, but she's not here, and neither is the fruit she married. <laughs> I can say that because they're not here. All right, they want to get me off center stage, so now I'll pass it to the third oldest, which is Peggy. <laughs> no, I'm really the youngest. Hi, guys. Let me pass it to Joy. No. <laughs> yes, I'm Peggy, and I have uh, three children, Bill, Tim, and Katie. Billy's 21, Katie's 15, and Timmy's 20. And I live in St. Pete. And she's no Florida. saint. <laughs> and uh, I'm a kindergarten teacher, Jean. I can't believe you are, too. And if you're sane, there's something wrong with you after teaching kindergarten. And this, I will pass to George. I, I wish you wouldn't do this to me because you know I can't talk. <laughs> Get your robe up. <laughs> this is George. Well, I'm George. 
<laughs> and I have uh, two children. His wife's and over here. You'll meet later. Julia. <laughs> 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 and uh, I live in uh, Tarpon Springs. And I'm a contractor, and uh, I'm happily divorced. <laughs> <laughs> by, by being a contractor, <laughs> the contract's not Do you want me to this flashy young thing over here? Do you want me to show you your, your date? Yeah, okay. there's the date. There's his wife. We're going to bring her in. <laughs> Say hi, Mama. <laughs> Say hello to Mama. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat, and I also live in Tarpon Springs, and I'm married to, my wife's name is Debbie, and I have a little girl, 20 months old, and I'm 39 years old, so you can imagine how old they are. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is my younger sister, Anne. I'm Ann Garrigan. I just want to say hello. And I work. I'm single, and I work in a nursing home. And I hope everyone will come down and see us real soon. This is not a dating service. <laughs> <laughs> Look through man as quick as you can. <laughs> <laughs> With a lot of class and no gas. <laughs> now the only one we missed is Timmy. And you got to see him uh, when you were up there last There's time. There's his hand. <laughs> Wait. He's waving to you from the camera end. And he's nothing to look at, so oh, <laughs> you really aren't missing anything. Well, they already, they already saw that firsthand, so. <laughs> All right, now uh, we'll introduce, uh, I'll introduce my husband, Todd, and, and no, only one of my four children <coughs> are here today. Uh, Todd, do you want to come out here? And then Marla. Yeah. Okay, this is my husband, Todd, Todd Dixon. Hi, and you can see what a cross I have to bear in life. <laughs> it hasn't been easy, I'll tell you. <laughs> this one's Marla. She's our youngest girl. And she's, uh, she'll be a junior in high school this year. Say something. Speak. <laughs> Tell her about the play. Tell her about the play. <laughs> She's 23 years old. Yeah, Marla's, uh, <laughs> how old are you, Marla? 16. Yeah, Marla's 16. <laughs> tell them how old you are. I'm 16. <laughs> Let's everybody tell them. She's 16. 16. She's, 16. She's 16. Marla likes to sing and dance. Show and, them uh, some, Marla. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she just uh, finished uh, being the lead in Grease, the, the musical Grease <laughs> at the high school. <laughs> that, what else, Mark? Anything? <laughs> She'd like to meet her cousins. <coughs> all come down. So I hope you all come down and see us. All right, that's the end of us. It's a shame the other kids aren't here with Katie. us right now, but uh, yeah, Peggy's uh, daughter's here. Come on over, Katie. Katie. Let's just fade out. <laughs> Marla, you can move. <coughs> Can you say hi, Katie? <laughs> say hi. Katie from I'm Katie. Katie, yeah. Katie who for this is my mom. And I'm 15. <laughs> is that right, Mom? Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> and you're dying to meet everybody, too. Yeah. We should all come down. Show me your puppy leg. Oh, I hurt my knee. I went roller skating. I hurt my knee. <laughs> Tried to go roller skating. Uh, could I say one thing that when Tim brought back a picture, one of the pictures he brought back um, from Ann's house showed a picture of the fruit market, the old fruit market on the highway that was uh, years and years ago. And we feel that we are a product of that fruit market being that we're all very loony toony fruits <laughs> and it <laughs> must just run in the face. <laughs> this is a bunch of fruit cakes. We have two more fruits coming, our little fruits. These are George's these are George's two children. Yeah. Kelly. Sean will be seven and Kelly just turned five. Say hi. Sean, say Sean. Sean. Because they're going to see you. Right, Talk to the yeah. side. Say, it, say it again, Kelly. Tell them, <laughs> <right now. laughs> Tell them you're about your granddaddy's stories that put you to sleep with them. <laughs> Tell them about your stories. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. I scared him when you go swimming. Yeah. I scared him. <coughs> Do you want to introduce your uh, your robot over there? Okay. <laughs> we better backtrack on this, George. Uh, it's been lonely. Has, uh, <laughs> George has been very lonely and uh, looking for female companionship, and he felt anything is better than out. nothing. <laughs> 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 oh, what anyway, oh, wait, oh, excuse us. <laughs> this, this is the latest love of George's wife, his future wife. Oh. <laughs> Who has ear problems? Yeah. Right now, antenna <laughs> problems. There we go. Give her a kiss, George. <laughs> George, George, you you her. Her. George, could you get her to say something? George, say no, 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 it's not her. It's not her. It's not her. It's not her. George is just waiting to get beamed up. Number six. Tell him about your robot. Turn her around. Well, he the yeah. clock, my dad made him by himself, and um, took about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> your dad's a genius. Keep talking, John. Everything I wrote down for you to say. Looks like a thousand things that he put on. Do you have a name for your robot? Number six. Look up there. Look up there. Tell them the camera. Number six. Number six. What? What's your robot saying to the people? Do you love your new mother? Why don't um, Mike? Why don't you talk a little bit about yesterday? What what it was in the yesterday? We had a fantastic celebration <coughs> up in Palm Harbor where I live. And uh, we celebrated Mother and Dad's 48th wedding anniversary. And uh, there was a lot of giving of gifts and uh, video taking and uh, singing and celebrating and dancing and show acting. We had, oh, probably close to 25 relatives there. And, uh, and swimming and all kinds of things went on yesterday. And uh, the, the highlight of it was uh, Dad telling all his stories that have been in the family about his great-grandfather and his father. <laughs> and grandfather. This is Conan. And mom. R2, D3. And all the other relatives. <laughs> yeah, I got a little spacey since last night, and I feel protrusions in my forehead and other places. But anyhow, Mike has always been the dignified one of the family. <coughs> yes, I hold the family together with my great look dignity. Look what you have on your head. I have something on my head? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that grew since last night. <laughs> um, but. Um, <coughs> uh, Dee Dee, maybe we could get him right now. Has everybody been introduced? Yeah, we've all been yes, introduced. Yeah, we have been. We have been. Do we have time for um, Bushy Bushy Vine? They can see one of the old family stories or not. Oh, uh, no. Do we have time? Just say the Bushy Maybe just for a short rendition, just give us a sample minute or two, okay? Of Bushy Bushy Vine. Bushy Bushy Vine, Dad. This is what we saw last night. Oh, me? Yeah, real quickly, though. No, the story of Bushy Bushy Line. That's a pretty long story. Yeah, just give a few uh, samples from it. All right. These uh, people were out in the country. And here it is, this old witch, a very wealthy old witch that lived out in the country. And she had to do a lot of shopping periodically. So she hired this beautiful girl to be her maid. And she instructed this girl to wash the dishes, sweep the floor, uh, but don't look up the chimney. No way. Don't look up the chimney. Definite instructions. So, uh, 
The girl was very inquisitive. Then she wondered. After she worked there three or four days, what was up that chimney? So, her curiosity got the best of her. One morning she got up and she decided to spy up the chimney and look up there and see what was going on. And, hello, a great big bag of gold came tumbling <laughs> down out of the chimney. Oh, she was astounded. She didn't know what to do. She knew she had committed a crime and this old witch would kill her if she ever found out that she saw that gold. Well, what would she do? Oh my God, it was terrible. So, she decided to pick up that bag of gold and disappear through the countryside, which she did. So, she was scared. She knew that that old witch was going to kill her under any circumstances for stealing that gold. So she came to this bush. <laughs> and she said, Bush, would you kindly hide me? And the bush said, why? Oh, she said, I'm in fear of my life. I'm afraid the old witch, where I stole the gold, where I was working, she was going to kill me because I stole the gold. I looked up the chimney and the bag of gold came down. Well, what did she do? The bush said, oh my goodness, this is terrible. She said, okay. She said, I'll hide you for the night. So, next morning, the girl got up and the bush said, now you go on, further down the road, about 10 miles, and you'll beat a cow. And she did. So she met the cow. And she told the cow her story. Oh, the cow said, this is terrible. Can't understand it. Oh, I'm afraid you are going to get killed. But she said, if you milk me, I will tell you where to go. So she milked the cow. Hey, isn't that enough? That's enough. Okay, should we say that um, there's one little thing. Say that one about what happened when the old woman found out the, uh, give just a tiny little excerpt from when the old witch came back, found her money, was gone, and she went out. Tell, say what she said to the bush. What did the old witch say? Well, when the old woman came back and <coughs> her sample. beautiful maid was missing, she was in a quandary. She didn't understand. She was worried. And then she finally decided, oh my God, I better look up the chimney. She looked up the chimney and there was no bag of gold fell down. She knew then definitely that the maid had astounded with the money. She left with all her money, a big bag of gold. Oh, she was so angry. It was terrible. She was going to kill that girl. She was going to kill her whether she found the gold or not. Because she was so angry. So she finally started out to the countryside looking for the girl who stole her gold. <coughs> finally came to this bush. She said, Bushy, bushy, bye. Did you see a mate of mine with a wig? with a wag, with a long leather back, with all the money I've had since I was a wee thing. <laughs> and the bush said, shake me. She shook the bush. <laughs> so, so, she shook the bush. You can't and the bush, the bush told her then. After she shook the bush, the bush told her she's just gone by. Okay. And that's, that's a cut. cut.
<laughs> All right, in order for anyone to hear the rest of the story in Blairsville, they need to come to Clearwater, Florida Very like for the in-person ending of this story. Right. Please come down anytime. We'd love to see all of our relatives <laughs> present. <laughs> and <laughs> Conehead gives you a welcome, too. All of us. Well, back when I was in Pennsylvania, uh, everybody was talking about how nice it would be to have like both branches of the family to to uh, become closely associated again. I don't know that they will continue to have that same <laughs> feeling. To <laughs> which you are like it. <laughs> we like it. <laughs> we want to at least show show Council people that I'll be up there to see them. That there is about there is a normal side to the Garrigan family up in Pennsylvania, right? No, as I said to them up there, they would have all fit in down here yesterday because, you know, the, the chaos that was going on, it, it, it was reminiscent of what I saw up there, too, in, a, in the midst of a big party. And as I said to them up there, I said, I feel, you know, I feel right at home. <laughs> yeah, we just, just great. love to have all of us get together. I think that would be great. Yeah, it would. Really good. <coughs> Yes, God we willing, if we can have it up there or down here, yeah, yeah it'd be, be great. Well, that's what we'll we'll all have to work towards in the future, and be serious about it for sure. I think we've made a good beginning. So do I. Now, is it? Do we? Uh, On the fiftieth anniversary. Oh, that. Two be years from now, that's for sure. We'll have to try to do it before then, but then they can come down for that too. For sure. Yeah. Now, do we have a grand finale to this? Are we supposed to? Uh, Sing goodbye, or do we just well, uh, no, fade Peggy, off into the? Uh, Peggy's gonna dance with number six. After right. that song, <laughs> <when it's laughs> I don't think we need to sing. <laughs> yeah, uh, <coughs> I think we should have a fade out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a blackout. <laughs> I've had blackout. Okay. Well, get that. Get, get the face. Wait a minute. We do oh, have we a have logical conclusion. We have of our this. the one relative that is coming out of the closet to say goodbye. Yeah, this is our other relative. It's our closet case represents all of if us. If you think, bring it right up to the camera. If you think yeah, we're the... Dance with number six. Get that robot. Dance with number six. Dance with number six. That robot. Can Don't we, leave that robot. We, we should give Tom a recognition. And then this is our grand finale. Grand finale, everyone. Grand finale to dance with six. Thank you, Tom. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Can I just have a little bit? We'd like to say goodbye to all our relatives. Everybody just keep going. Thank you.